Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure WPA2 Enterprise WLAN in a single network using a wireless LAN controller, lightweight access point, then radius server that is AAA server, then switch one admin PC and a laptop client. So we will cover step by step setup from integrating the radius server with the WLC, creating secure wireless LAN and finally testing the wireless connection. By the end of this video, you will have a fully functional WPA2 Enterprise WLAN lab ready for practice. So stay tuned till the end and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you find this video helpful. First of all, let me design our topology. We'll have a switch, wireless WLC, then LAP, one PC, one server, and a laptop. Consider yes one. This is the WLC, that is Wireless LAN Controller, LAP, Lightweight Access Point, Admin PC, Laptop, Radius Server, connecting all these devices to our switch. G0 slash 1 to WLC, G0 slash 2 to our LAP, FA0 slash 1 to our server, FA0 slash 2 to our admin PC. So here you can see our topology. I just labeled all the ports and uh, a device name perfectly. First, we are going to assign IP address to uh, all these devices as per our addressing table. So, coming to WLC, config management, and here we are going to give 192.168.1.1, then to mask. Okay. Uh, here, anyway, we are not going to set the default gateway because we have only a single network here. Then coming to our radius server, one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two. Coming to our admin PC, one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot three. Coming to our LAP. So we'll power on this uh, LAP. Okay, now we will go to config gigabit Ethernet to zero, and here we will uh, set IPv4 address 192.168.1.4, then submit to mask. So here we are not going to set the uh, default gateway. Also, this uh, WLC primary controller address here because it is connected in the same network. We will test the connectivity from admin 192.168.1.1, the IP address of our WLC. We get the replies. Now we will ping to our server, it is 1.2, then we will ping to our LAP, it is 1.4, perfect. Next we are going to set up our WLC. So go to admin and we are going to access our wireless LAN controller through web browser. 
using its IP address 192.168.1.1 and press go. We need to wait some time so that we get the setup page and here we can see we are using the uh, protocol HTTP not HTTPS so that we will do after the basic configuration then we given the IP address of the WLC after 20 to 30 seconds we get this uh, window Cisco 3500 series wireless LAN controller so we are going to create uh, an username and password so let me give admin password admin 123 whatever you can set admin 123 then start system name will give a WLC or you can set any system name here then management IP address we already given IP address for this WLC so we must configure the same IP address here 192.168.1.1 .1 then submit to mask then default gateway here we did not configure the default gateway but we can see this is a mandatory field here hence we are going to configure an IP address from this network 1.254 so we can give uh, any address uh, because uh, we don't have any default gateway currently click on next a network name okay let me give a WLAN we can edit this uh, after the configuration of this uh, basic settings then uh, pass phrase let me give admin 123 admin 123 okay next okay virtual IP address we will uh, leave default uh, then click next Please confirm settings and apply everything perfect click on apply and ok so we can see saving the configuration this may take a minute so what we do just to close this uh, window and we need to wait till this link become green Again, we will access this WLC through admin web browser. IP address of WLC 192.168.1.1. And here we can see server reset connection because we given HTTP. So just change it to HTTPS and go. Now we can see our login username is admin password be given admin 123 then click on login yes here we can see now we are in our WLC and here in monitor we can see access point summary so here one LAP is connected next we are going to configure our radius server here in this WLC so go to security and here we can see radius authentication in triple A we'll click on new because we are going to add this uh, radius server server index 1 so we can add up to 32 servers okay server IP address so our IP address we given here is 192.168.1.2 so we are going to give that here 192.168.1.2 then shared secret so we are going to set a secret here the same secret we should set in our server also so let me give admin 123 And here we can see port number is 1812. It should match with our uh, triple A server also. Okay, now click on apply. Yes, so here we can see our server details, server address, port, admin status. Okay. 
now we will go to our radius server radius server triple a we already configured ip address now we will go to services and we can see here triple a service and we can see it's uh, off we have to put on and we can see radius port they are using 1645 so uh, we will use whatever we given in this uh, wlc that is 1812 then client name we can see it is wlc then client ip ip address of our wlc 192.168.1.1 then secret we given here this is wlc okay we given admin 1 2 3 and we are going to add this network configuration here okay and also we are going to create uh, this uh, username and password for this laptop user setup so let me add username as admin password admin then click on add so we can add many number of uh, usernames and password uh, depends on the uh, you know users now we will close this radius server again we will go back to wlc through admin okay we will go to wlans wireless lan and here we can see wlan we configured so we'll click on this we'll edit this wlans because we configured wpa to personal okay here we can see all these are good status enabled i will give your wlan wi-fi then go to security and here we can see wpa2 psk so we given the pre-shared key we are going to remove this pre-shared key and we are going to enable 802.1x that means triple server so click on this then here we can see the option triple servers click on that and in server one we can choose our server we already set up this uh, uh, you know triple server uh, from this uh, security tab so choose this uh, server then go to advanced and enable flux connect enable both click on apply okay so we need to wait some time so that we can see it will let change from advanced to general yes so it is applied next we are going to configure the internal dhcp because whenever we connect this laptop to lap you should get the ip address from this wlc or even we can configure manually but usually we use a dhcp so we'll go to admin and we'll go to controller here we have internal dhcp server here we are going to edit this existing uh, dhcp click on this uh, scope name and uh, here we are going to give 1.10 till 1.14 okay that's fine network that's correct net mask 0 slash 24 default routers okay here i will change it to 254 dns server okay that's fine or if you want you can change it you can give a, a depends on your requirement that's fine click on apply perfect so here save configuration okay successfully saved all configuration we will go to our laptop click on laptop and uh, put off laptop because we need to remove this uh, wired connection and we can add this uh, wireless interface then put on laptop go to desktop pc wireless okay let me go to connect and refresh so that uh, we can see our ssid here wlan underscore wi-fi 
okay click on that and we are going to click on connect so what happens we are getting a message please go to the profiles tab to create a new profile to complete the connection because it is in wpa to enterprise we need to go to profile and we need to do it we will go to profiles and here we can see edit option or even we can create new just i will click on edit and we are going to choose this wlan underscore wi-fi this is our available wireless network then click on advanced setup wireless mode okay next network settings uh, obtain the network settings automatically using dscp so that our wlc will provide the ip address to this laptop click on next wireless security here we are using wpa2 enterprise so make sure that you choose this option okay so wpa2 enterprise click next now uh, wireless security we created a username and password in this triple server so we need to give that username and password here username we given admin password also we given admin click on next and click on save then connect to network and we will wait to connect this laptop to this lap because the username and password will be verified from triple s server you need to wait like uh, you know uh, 30 to 60 seconds so that it will connect automatically uh, i mean after the configuration it will connect to uh, lap or even you can fast forward if it uh, takes a long time it won't take much time like uh, 30 to 40 seconds uh, it will connect automatically if the configuration is correct if it is not connected we need to verify the configuration here we configured everything correctly and uh, this laptop is connected to lap the username and password we created in our radius server right so and this uh, wlc uh, is provided uh, ip address to this uh, laptop so we can verify the address here ip address 192.168.1.10 so just we will test the connectivity from admin pc now we will close this wlc command prompt then we will ping to 192.168.1.10 ip address of this laptop so here we can see we get the replies great that's all in this video it's a simple configuration friends thanks for watching this video on configuring wpa2 enterprise wlan with wlc lap and radius server if you found this uh, helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for more networking labs and other tutorials also drop a comment below if you have any doubts or suggestions for future videos see you in the next one keep learning keep practicing and happy networking